and welcome back to the channel as we take a look around at the Lyric Graffiti before we go for another ride here that's what the bike looks like now with 144 miles on it so far so let's go for a ride and put a little bit more on the bike. It's a uh, damp morning here and we're supposed to get some snow or a wintry mix here but I gotta ride carefully because they do say that the side roads may be icy because of the temperature being right at uh, 32 degrees so but I wanted to get out for my ride always fun to get out on the Lyric Graffiti e-bike, it's just, just a fun ride, smooth, fun ride. The wind is a bit cold, temperature's right at freezing, so you can feel a little bit of wind there when you're riding. On this video, I do want to make mention to, uh, since we're approaching spring, you're going to be seeing uh, some spring uh, deals coming up for bikes, electric bikes, so if you are uh, on the market scouring looking for an e-bike in the market I should say um, keep an eye out because uh, there's some spring deals out there or about to be out there if they're not already uh, so you might be able to uh, snag yourself a, an e-bike at a decent price Of course, uh, when you set out to buy an e-bike, I think the number one thing you should do or have in mind is a budget. Like how much are you willing to spend on a bike? And then you can narrow your search. Maybe there's a maximum and a minimum. You know, maybe you don't want to buy Say your budget is set for $2,000. Well, maybe you don't want to buy one that's $1,000 because maybe you want to get closer to the max amount of money that you're willing to spend because you're probably going to get a better bike, right? So if I'm setting my budget, for example, for $2,000 for a bike, I'm going to go right to that $2,000. I'm going to look for what I, the best I can get for my money if that's what I'm going to have a budget set at I don't know why I went down this road because it's a oh maybe I can go through there all right so yeah uh I have had times though, and not just bikes, but it could be something else, uh, where you have a budget set. Okay, I'm going to spend this much money on whatever it is. And uh, like, let's say your budget, for, uh, we'll go with a bike here, is at $2,000. And you see something, a bike, 
for two thousand dollars that you really like you have it narrowed down but there's that one little added feature that they have on the bike something that's two hundred dollars more well if i want that little something whatever it is i do it as long as i have that extra 200 and i can squeeze it you know out of wherever to get it you know to get what i uh, want then i would do it but uh usually i try to uh, if i'm a lot of times what i do i guess is uh i look around to see what types of bike i want first before the budget for me especially getting the when i first got the uh, aerial rider grizzly I looked around at all the bikes of that style. I wanted that that uh, uh, moped style, I guess you'd call it, or scrambler. Um, a bike. I like that particular style, just like this Lyric Graffiti. And so I got an idea of what the prices were on those particular style of bikes. And then I went from there, and when I did buy that bike, even though it's just coming up on one year ago, I had a lot less choices. Uh, it's about a year ago, I guess, that I bought it now. I knew I wanted it more than a year ago, though, because I, uh, I had it chosen and picked out, but I waited till they came in stock. I didn't order one and, and wait. I waited till they came in stock just in case in the meantime something else didn't come up and uh, have me change my mind and so I uh, went for it and uh, and of course I paid $3,300 and the choices of bikes like I say I didn't have as many choices as there is now um, and uh, there's a lot more uh, choices out there now like a bikes to, to uh, pick from and so if your budget for example is two thousand dollars and you're looking for the uh, style of bike like this uh, Lyric Graffiti you can get one you know a pretty good bike for not a real um, break the bank like I paid 3300 for the Grizzly you can get one cheaper but I the reason why I paid that extra is I wanted the dual motor for hill climbing and I wanted the uh, uh, I like the battery set up with two batteries so but keep your eyes open because uh, spring deals uh, should be uh, coming out this is the time of year too that uh, people get the itch to buy a bike more because we're getting into the nice weather coming up you know and in the winter nobody really feels like buying one because not everybody wants to wait uh to ride their bike they want to ride it now which i can't blame them and so Everything is so quiet this morning. And we're talking like 8 a.m. in the morning, just past 8 o'clock.
unlike myself, I think everybody's sleeping. I'm recording this video on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm sure a lot of folks are not early risers like me, even on my days off. I'm an early riser. Oh, we're going to do a quick spin around here. The roads are wet, but they don't seem to be slippery right here or anywhere that I've ridden around here at. But you never know, there could be that one area that's slick. that's going to do it for this quick ride around on a Sunday morning. Thank you for coming along for another ride here on the Lyric Graffiti e-bike. If you've got a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like, thumb, and if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.